wanted to take a look at all of the Android Wear devices that were unveiled at I.O. this year and see which ones uh, were the best and, and which had different merits and which ones are better for different people. So I've got two of them right here. I've got the LG G Watch and the Samsung Gear Live. The Moto 360 is not available yet, but we did get to use it a bit. Um, so all the devices run Android Wear, and Android Wear is a common platform, and Google is serious about making that a common platform, so the features are the same across. So software experience is not going to differ on your wrist. So that's not what it's going to decide which one you prefer. Other factors like weight, comfort, some hardware features that are, that are different between devices are going to be much more important. So the Gear Live to start with is the same form factor as the Gear 2 and the Gear Neo. So if you've used a Samsung smartwatch before, you know what this feels like. It's quite light, it's quite comfortable, it sort of hugs the wrist, uh, and it has this continuous design, which means you're not going to get be able to get too personal with the wristband choice. You're going to have to go with what Samsung offers. They do offer a few. Uh, with the LG G Watch, you can pick whatever fits a standard 22 millimeter watchband lug. So it sky's the limit, right? This one has a heart rate monitor, which the G Watch does not have. So if you enjoy running a lot and you really need to monitor your heart rate, uh, then this is the way to go. It's sort of a specialist use case. It's pretty niche. I wouldn't say that's a deciding factor for a lot of people. This one does have an AMOLED display, which means it's a little bit more legible in sunlight than this one with the IPS. This display has its merits too, like it's, and it's much more battery efficient on the LG G Wash. So this is probably going to get longer battery life. Uh, this one is about $30 more than the, the Samsung, so the LG is $30 more than the Samsung. And the Motorola is not yet, pricing is not announced, but the Motorola has a whole bunch of advantages over these two, in my opinion, and most of those come down to design. It's made with premium materials, it has a rounded face that looks much more like a standard traditional watch. Despite the fact that the face is actually bigger in, in terms of proportions than these two watches, it looks better on smaller wrists. Overall, uh, of the three of what I've seen so far, I've had a little bit more time with these two because we've gotten taken them away, but I still kind of prefer the Moto 360. The, the test is going to be in long-term use in terms of comfort, in terms of um, durability and stuff like that, but, but the Moto 360 is one that you might want to wait for if you're considering an Android Wear device at this point.